Hi, we have learned to write ionic equations in the previous video. In the previous video, the state symbols were given. What if the state symbols are not given? Let's look at this equation. State symbols are not given. How would you know if it's in aqueous or other states? And how would you know to separate the substance or not? The solubility table comes in. From this table, we can check if a substance is soluble in water. When we are writing ionic equations, we are dealing with reactions that occur in the presence of water. So if a substance is soluble, it dissolves to form aqueous solution. Let's look at the first substance in the equation, calcium carbonate. We check through the table. Carbonate. All insoluble except group 1 and ammonium. Since calcium is in group 2, we have a group 2 metal carbonate. Therefore, it's insoluble. Since it's insoluble, it is in solid state. So we put S as a state symbol. For HCl, hydrochloric acid, it is in AQ state because acids always dissolve and ionizes in water to form solution. So we put AQ state. For CaCl2, let's check. For chlorides, all are soluble except silver and lead. So calcium chloride is soluble, so we put AQ state. Water doesn't ionize much and, and it is in L state, carbon dioxide in G state. Once we have determined the state symbols, we will know how to continue. So for calcium carbonate, S states, don't separate it. For HCl, it's in AQ state, separated into two hydrogen and two chloride ions, because there's a two in front. CaCl2, AQ state, separated into calcium and two chloride ions. Water is in L state. Leave it as it is. Carbon dioxide gaseous state. Don't separate it. Cancel out the spectator ion chloride. And we get the next ionic equation.